I'm John Skinner and this supports my book A Season on the Edge and the book describes fishing for a variety of species including striped bass, bluefish, weakfish, and fluke. Cordell pencil poppers come in two sizes. The top one is a 7 inch 2 ounce. The one below it is a 6 inch 1 ounce. The standard retrieve for pencil poppers is to have one hand well above the reel um, that hand is used for pumping the rod back and forth. The line is held between the thumb and forefinger of that hand and you use a relatively slow retrieve. And here's the popping action. I'm using a 7 inch cordel in this case. And what you saw right there was a fish that just blew up on the plug but didn't touch it. And I'm continuing to retrieve hoping that fish is going to return but it doesn't. So what I'll do in this case, whenever I get uh, a fish to blow up on a plug but actually not make contact is I won't throw that same plug back to that fish again I'll make a change in this case I simply went down a size I went from the 7 inch cordel down to the 6 inch the objective of a pencil popper retrieve is to pump the rod so that the plug thrashes back and forth in a zigzagging motion while not moving very quickly and this often somehow either entices or annoys the bass into hitting the reason that you hold the line between your thumb and forefinger of the pumping hand is so that the line goes onto the spool evenly and doesn't form knots. The fact that uh, we still haven't seen the plug yet because it's still pretty far out there shows you that you know, this is really a relatively slow retrieve and it's taking a long time for that plug to uh, go from the end of the cast into close enough where we can see it. These cotton cordial pencil poppers are really nice plugs in calmish water such as this. Um, they're plastic, they have rattles inside, they make a lot of noise. They're quite inexpensive at about six bucks a piece and, and they really catch fish. I'm using a 9 foot medium action graphite rod, advanced stall 200 reel, uh, 30 pound test braided line, and about 36 inches of 50 pound test monofilament for the leader. And I'm not tying direct, but rather using a tactical angler's clip to connect the plug to the leader. I'm fishing the North Fork of Long Island in Long Island Sound.
rocks. Tripers like rocks. Um, this is a little bit of a risky cast because there's two rocks so close together there and I'm, I'm casting between them so if I hook up and a big fish runs either way I'm gonna have some issues. Um, but it usually works out okay. This is tough shaky video but I'm using the 7 inch here, I've seen a big swirl behind the plug and I'm threshing that water as hard as I can trying to get that fish to hit. My drag is silent because I've taken the, the spring off the clicker, um, but this fish has actually taken a fair amount of line and now I've got an issue because there's a, some kind of a swim platform, like a floating uh, platform out there anchored and the fish is uh, getting out a little dangerously close now. And I'm, I'm going to be able to ease them just on the inside of it. I'm going to be real careful here because this is a point in the battle where uh, that fish, a fish of that size, could easily straighten the treble hooks on the plug.